We are pool players. They are an Instagram slash Facebook group that pose scenarios for you to take a look at and try to figure out how you would attack. And I've loved them for quite some time and I've been thinking for a while now that I would do a few videos. I've chosen one to start with in particular because I think it's something that happens so often and that is we are posed with a decision. More specifically, we've got a ball and we can take it to more than one pocket. And let's talk about what we should be thinking in our inner monologue and what we should be taking into consideration because it's important. All right, let's do this. Welcome back everybody. <clears throat> so here's the scenario right in front of us. Now we could do one of a million things to, at the very start of this, right? But three shots should pop out at you right off the hop. The first is the safety. We just hit that seven, we freeze behind the nine, leave the seven ball down there. We'll be talking about that briefly because that's not something I think we should be thinking about. The seven ball does go to two pockets. It goes to that corner and it goes to the side. So those are our other two options, right? Take the seven to the side and come into the nine and have shape for the eight, or we shoot the seven to the corner and have shape for the eight. So let's talk about the one that we're not gonna talk about too much, and that is the safety. The only reason I think you would play safe on this shot is because your confidence is at a low, okay? You literally have two pockets you can shoot that seven ball into and try to get shape and get out from here. The fact that you would consider playing safe on this shot right here tells me that you're hoping that your opponent's gonna make the mistake. And I'm telling you, if that's your mindset, you're not gonna go far. So we're gonna move on from that right off the hop, okay? It's one thing to not have a shot and try to play safe, right? We've got two pockets, like I've said, so we're not gonna talk safety anymore. Let's talk about the seven ball to the side. Now, I'd like you to take a look at it. I don't know if you can tell, but it is impossible for you to shoot the seven ball on the side without touching that nine ball. So the question I pose to you is this, <clears throat> can you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, tell me where that cue ball is going to end up over here for shape on the eight? Do you know that by looking at it? Can you tell me, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you know exactly where that nine ball is going to end up? Beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is what I call changing the shape of the world. And I, I, I use that term when I have to bump into things, right? And sometimes I have to break things out, go into clusters, and you're changing the shape of the world. And sometimes you just don't have a choice. My personal motto is I try not to, sh if I don't have to, I try not to change the shape of the world, right? So let's, I mean, in this instance, we don't have to. We'll be talking about that next. But in this, if you wanna shoot the seven in the side, you're going to be touching that nine ball. And if you can't tell exactly where the nine ball is going to end up and the cue ball is going to end up, is that really the best shot, right? I could shoot this 10 times and I don't know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the cue ball is going to land exactly where I want it. I don't know where this nine, I'm, I would guess that I would come into the nine. It would probably maybe hit over here. Maybe it lands up on this side, but maybe it comes over at this angle and ends up over here. I don't know. So those are considerations. Yes, I know that there's players that would look at this and say, well, okay, the seven ball is closer to the side and I know I can make that shot in the side. And that's what they're thinking. I just wanna stay at the table. Flip side of that is you're not gonna stay at the table for very long if you don't understand where balls are going at all times. And I don't think that you can understand exactly where balls are gonna end up. At least you're taking a big risk, okay? Let's move on to the last shot. Seven ball to the corner. Now, yes, it's a little bit more difficult of a shot than the seven to the side, right? Because you've got a bigger real estate between the seven ball and the corner. But I would, I would put this out there that this is not that hard of a shot. And also to add to this is we're not changing the shape of the world. 
that nine ball is going to stay there. So we're basically having one rail shape, per perhaps two rail shape if you hit it a little bit harder on this eight ball and that nine ball is gonna stay. So we have a greater possibility of perfect shape. And remember, I've done that video on play shape for shape, right? Don't play shape for a ball. We're thinking three balls ahead, right? But if we say, I'm, I'm going to play shape for this eight ball, it happens millions of times a day in this world when people are playing this, where they play perfect shape, too perfect. And now you've limited yourself with where you've left the cue ball, right? So now you're gonna to have to try to power something or just to get adequate shape to shoot the nine. No, shape for shape, guys. And play for an area. Now we've got so many options on where we can place the cue ball to shoot that nine ball down, right? Shape for shape, okay? So those are our options, right? <clears throat> Safety, side, corner. I will not stand here and tell you which one to take. But I think I've given you a, a pretty good nudge in this video onto potentially which one you should choose, okay? Because it's a confidence thing. So if you're not confident in this seven to the corner, there's other issues here that you need to be working with because this, you're presented with shots like this all the time, right? What if this nine ball was here? Now you can't take it to the side. So this is natural. Okay, I've got to shoot this seven ball and I'm going to be taking it to that corner, right? You bend down, you shoot it and you end up with your shape, right? But now that this is your situation, a lot of players get confused. They shouldn't be getting confused at this point because they can't predict where that nine ball is gonna go. So that's where I'm gonna leave it, right? You guys leave comments in the comments section I, I think the majority of you are going to probably agree with me on this one, right? Shoot that seven in the corner and get shape on the eight because uh, well, we are pool players. And uh, yeah. Anyways, in the meantime and in between time, I will catch you on the flip side.